that we don't know if she's going to win a world title next year. The significance of this moment needs to Im be immortalized. Hey, trackies. Welcome back to yet another video here on TXT Track Time. As you can clearly hear, I am under the weather. But guess what? We promise that we will be dropping a video for you day by day. So I am here regardless to give you a video and this time around it's another exciting topic and you know once jamaica is winning or something having to do with jamaicans we are going to be completely excited about it and discuss it to the fullest so today we'll be tackling the world athletics athletes of the year nomination right so tom please go ahead and Give us the nominees on this list, on, on this list for these fantastic women. Okay. So this list is actually looking tighter than I originally thought. Start leading off the list in alphabetical order. It's Toby Amazon from Nigeria, world 100 meter hurdles champion, Diamond League, Commonwealth, and African 100 meters hurdles champion, and she sets a world 100 meter world record in the 100 meter hurdles of 12.12 seconds. Ridiculous. Then we have Chase Easley from the United States, world shot put champion and world indoor shot put silver medalist, Diamond League shot put champion through a world leading 21.51 meters. Moving on down the list in alphabetical order, Shelly Ann Fraser Price, Jamaica, world 100 meter champion, claiming a fifth gold medal in the event, Diamond League 100 meter champion, and ran a world leading 10.62 among her record, Seven, seven yeah. sub 10, seven, zero, 100 meter races this season. Ridiculous. Next on the list, we have Kimberly Garcia, world 20K race walk champion to win Peru's first ever world athletics championship medal. I mean, that's something. World 35K. <laughs> what did you say about that? World 35K race walk champion in in a South American record to complete a race walk a race walk double and world athletics race walking team championships 20k bronze medalist. It's nice to see a race okay, walk. On this I mean, let's move on. Let's move yes. on to the next <laughs> person. Okay, and again representing Jamaica. We have Sharika Jackson, world 200 meter champion. Just savor the moment. Remember that race? Ridiculous. 21.45 was it? Diamond League 200 meter champion. Oh, here it goes. Ran a world lead in 21.45 to move the second on the world all time list. And, and track is know that means first, and right? Let's not forget, they didn't put it there, but. That 21.45 was a championship record. So let's let's just make sure we say that before we get into who you know who we're scratching. But anyway, and we all know that 21.45 is actually the first on the world all-time list. But yeah, the world moving record. on down, we, we're we're starting to reach our pack of regulars on the, the list. We have Faith Kipiegan from Kenya world 1500 meter champion diamond league 1500 meter champion ran a world leading kenyan record of three minutes and 50 seconds point three seven just three tenths of a second just three tenths of a second off the world record and moving on we have yaroslava mahukchik mahukchik from ukraine world indoor high jump high jump champion and world high jump silver medalist european high jump champion jumped a world leading 2.05 meters equal in the outdoor national best moving on down the list from the united states sydney mcclock the biggest threat <laughs> world 400 meter hurdles and four by 400 meter champion 
bro, I forgot about that, that, that gold medal, bro, the one in the release. I didn't forget. Broke the world 400 meter hurdles record with 51.41 seconds at the US championships, further improved on the world record to 50.68, that's sub 51, 50.68 to win the world title. Hmm, Sydney's looking strong. Next, we have Shawnee Miller Weaver from the Bahamas, world 400 meter champion, world indoor 400 meter champion. I just remember she won the indoors as well. And the NACAC 400 meter champion. And moving on down the list to another fixture on this list every year, we have Yulimar Rojas from Venezuela, world indoor and outdoor triple jump champion, Diamond League triple jump champion, improved her world record to 15.74 meters in Belgrade. Um, Rojas just keeps breaking her world records over and over. Okay, so, this so is track is, that is the list in no particular order. I think based on what I learned from last year that they're choosing based on maybe a consistent pattern and a sensational performance. So anything that was very sensational, uh, those are the persons who made the list last year. And even when we look at this list this year, these are the people because when you look to Toby Amazon, that came from nowhere, but you will have to recall how sensational her performance was 12.12, doesn't just go anywhere. And uh, when we think back to Elaine, when she won last year, there was a lot of sensationalism there between, they even mentioned, you know, running her 10 5 4 um, at the Diamond Leagues in, you know, uh, the Prefontaine Classic. So I think it has a lot to do with the quality of the medals and, of course, the sense, just the whole sensationalism behind yeah, the but All of these athletes right here are sensational. Uh, that that. I would say, and then that's how we rank. What do we think is more sensational? Okay, I'm looking at this list and it's difficult. I, we have the world records and, of course, those two global gold medals. To Shelly and one, if we're not counting the Diamond League for a minute. Uh, I definitely think um, the global title um, outdoes um, a, a Diamond League uh, title. Right. So I'm just saying, so we have, well, then we have Shelly and five time performance. This is I what I see. The clincher. This is what I see clearly in my head. On one hand, we have Shelly and one gold medal. That's what I'm talking about, that one gold medal, right? Then we have our five-time gold medal um, performance in the 100 meters, five world championships. Then we have the, you know, the the the, the ten, you know, running the ten sixes, though all of those sub ten sevens. So I think that is what we have on Shelley's side of things, and then on Sydney's, Sydney's side of things. Think, all right, because they're two silver medals. I don't. No, I'm not. No, I'm not saying that. I'm just talking about the highest quality things. When it comes to yeah, the but judges. They're together. So they're going to be there, but they're just going to be lower ranked. So I'm just pulling the best from each person. So in my opinion, her gold medal, her five-time world championship, you know, like fi getting five gold medals at the world championships in one event and going running all of those sub-10, seven times rank as her better performances from last year. So I'm putting her silvers down a notch for now. And then on Sydney's side of things, what is making her, you know, outstanding. And I'm also putting her Diamond League down, further down on the list, Shelly Ann. And on Sydney's side, it's a two world records and the two gold medals. So it is a matter of two world. And is that everything Sydney has? <laughs> Uh, yeah, no, we're stuck in. Remember, we're stuck in performances. So while she didn't win in 2009, and then last year she also had the world record, the world and records, and, and they, 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 so that would be comparative to Shelly Ann's history. So when we're looking at history, she also has she's building, um, you know, a decent history, yeah. But at the end of the day. <sighs> Uh, again, to me, the clincher is the five. Uh, it's not it's, for me. It's not about the times you run because you know these times will be eclipsed. Somebody may 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 run ten ta ten times below um sub sub seven zero. My thing is that those global titles are 
you know, written down in history as this athlete, this athlete from XYZ century came and literally defied the odds, age and all, and took five titles, one in the right. same event. Right, that and then we have to remember that we're living in the real world here. So this is where optics comes into play. Sydney was on the list last year, and Elaine beat her out of the, the winning the, the the you know True. the award. And then she's on the list again this year, even stronger. And uh, and the question will be: Is Shelly going to beat her out of it? So is Jamaica going to go back to back? It was easy when you're saying it was going back to back. Nobody was close to him on the male side of things. You know, as it relates to the, the five time, she didn't know, right? So no is the significance of the five time, not next year, right? So, you know, you might be saying, okay, let's see if she wins a world title. We don't know if she's going to win a world title next year. The significance of this moment needs to Im be immortalized, in my opinion. Because it's a really, really significant moment. I don't know if breaking a world record is as significant as such this moment in time where an athlete did such an incredible incredible thing. I know, but then Sydney waited last year, this year, you know. Sydney didn't wait last year. No, 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 no. Let's just let's just make this clear. The significance of winning three global titles at the Olympic Games after four years of an extra year because it was delayed right is very significant as i said nobody cares or is going to remember that you broke a world record people when when people and there were the two um gold medals at the olympics as well <laughs> when Just people beautiful. when people mention elaine thompson here they say double double olympic champion when they talk about shelly and fraser prize five time world world champion Nobody cares that one of her one, one of these races was, you know, a championship record. Yes, it's important. However, that's not what we remember. I understand, and I have no fault with what you're, you're saying. It's just that Sydney's performance is significant, and I think a lot of I didn't say it wasn't significant. Time what's is more going significant to go into like, deciding who ultimately wins just between the optics of things and just the strength of her performance all right look here overall. i'm biased i'm, I'm not I, I, i'm not gonna lie i'm a biased jamaican and i'm gonna find i'm a biased jamaican i'm gonna find and i just want to say shelly out right um, yeah no i'm a biased a word no, i'm gonna say here, shelly out right for sure i would have said shelly out right was <laughs> I'm going to say Shelly outright because I'm a biased Jamaican and I'm going to find every reason under the sun why she should win, right? But at the end of the day, I definitely believe wholeheartedly that that five-time champion championship um, title, that crown that's on her head is what's going to be the defining factor in um, at the end of the day. Right, and I think that carries the significant weight. Yeah, and that's, that's, that's going to be the defining factor for me right. as well. If she wins, it will be based on that. And of course, let's not, and maybe even the the low, the, the, the times to some extent. No, I don't really think so because a championship record versus um versus world records. And remember, Sydney is running consistently fast. So even if we are supposed to stack how many times she did below you know, whatever, then it will also be equally amazing. So I don't think okay. that matters. Hmm. Well, right. not equally amazing since it's a world record here. So it will be amazing. Okay. <sighs> All right. So track is, you know, that's it. Again, from a from a biased Jamaican perspective, <laughs> <laughs> Shelly, Shelly for the win. Tom is on the fence this time around. Okay. So track is just before we go, just so that you remember, because we always try to bring you knowledge as well, how, uh, how are they going to actually determine who wins? There will be a three-way voting process to determine the finalists. The World Athletics Council and the World Athletics family will pass their vote by email, while fans can vote online via the World Athletics social media platforms. Okay, trackies, well, that's it. Let us hope that our athletes made it into the top five voting closed on Monday October 31st, so you can't run out and on, on, on vote on the socials now. I hope you already did. And, uh, yeah, tell us what you think. Is it Shelly or Sydney?
Shelly for the win. All right, Chuckies. So we'll catch you in another one. Bye-bye. <laughs>